thank you very much for your assistance. We're at the famous Mount Panorama Racetrack. All right guys, so as you've seen, we've rocked up here at Lexus at Chatswood. The guys here have really helped us out with securing the new LBX Maurizio RR, which is the new small LBX SUV, which has the same drivetrain as the eight-speed Yaris and Corolla. So it's a 1.6 liter, uh, three-cylinder turbo engine, and we will be developing uh, that platform along with the Corolla and Yaris that we already do. All right guys, let's go and check out the car. All right guys, so the engine bay is very similar to the Yaris and the Corollas. Uh, there's a little bit more plastic covering up some stuff to make it probably look a bit neater. Same sort of engine cover, but with the Lexus uh, symbol. Airbox appears to be the same as the Corolla and the Yaris as well. It does look like the engine bay is a little bit more um, cramped over the, the other Corolla especially. But um, we're looking forward to ripping this thing apart and getting stuck into modifications. We would like to thank uh, Don and the team here very much. This is the first LBX they have delivered and we're very thankful for that. Don, thank you very much for your assistance with the purchase. We're very much looking forward to developing further Lexus platforms as time goes on. And uh, guys, I cannot uh, thank the guys here enough for what they've done for us. And um, yeah, can't, can't recommend them enough. Thanks guys and uh, thanks Don and your team. Yep. And we look very, very forward to uh, growing the relationship. Pleasure. Congratulations once again. Thanks very much. Enjoy. Enjoy the ride. Cheers. I should work out how to program the seats. So we're um, uh, in the Blue Mountains in uh, Sydney. Um, it is 9.30 in the morning. Um, yeah, it's just uh, putting this in the video here to show how much uh, fog, fog we get uh, in the mountains. Um, the weather forecast is meant to be better once we get out to Bathurst. Bathurst is approximately three hours west of Sydney. So fingers crossed we get some clear skies there. But uh, so far the car feels phenomenal. Um, the outside temperature is 12 degrees, so it's nice and chilly. But that little turbo engine uh, feels very responsive. Um, the eight speed, it, again, is um, it's doing great. It feels, uh, it's, a, it's a pleasure to drive. It's the it's shifting, you're not really noticing at all. Uh, I've played around with the manual mode and that's very seamless. We'll tune in where I'm a bit further west. All right guys, so um, the weather's looking much better over here. Uh, we're just about to pull into Bathurst. So yeah, I'm glad that the weather fined up. Um, oh, there we go. You can see Mount Panorama over to the left there. We're just coming into Bathurst itself. Oh, here we are. Yeah. All right, let's uh, get to the track. Well, we have made it to Mount Panorama. This is the the entrance. So Mount Panorama is a public road during non-events so it does have a speed limit so we're just going to do a lap of this. So here's the, here's the big uh, start line so that's about the red where all the cars line up. I've just got it in manual mode as well so I'm going to do a full full lap just uh, for, for you of, that don't know Mount Panorama this would be Australia's premier racing track. The elevation 
is, is quite substantial. It's definitely the, the topography is quite you know undulating and all over the place. So it's a very exciting racetrack. And that uh, panorama used to actually have one of the longest straights in the world for racetracks. And I think it was probably around 2000, year 2000, they actually put a, a kink in the straight to slow the cars down. You'll see that later on. This is one of the crests that some cars do have lift going over the top of it. The LBX is not getting lift. All right, so this is actually quite a long straight as well, going up to second turn. For people that do, do watch the motorsport at Bathurst, it's, it's quite common for kangaroos to be on the track during racing. So, yeah, there's some definitely some, some, some funny scenes of kangaroos bouncing during races. It's quite, quite a blind track. There's a lot of blind corners. So this, this will leading into a left, left corner here. So, as I said, this is a, this is a um, public street. So, have to stick to the speed limit. We're starting to climb very high and it is actually common during racing that partial coverage of the track can be raining at one section, not raining on the others, on the other parts. See how high we are up here now. We're starting to go down quite steep now. And um, the dipper, it used to be it used to be far more aggressive. Here it is here because we're racing the S's going down here. So this part that we're going down right here, this actually used to be very aggressive where most cars would be getting some air on that, that dipper. Alright, so this is the beginning of the straight. Unfortunately, yeah, we can't see how the Maurizio is. Got a bobcat or a skid steer on the heading the other way. So, so this straight during racing, uh, I think the V8 supercars sit around about 290. 300. Unfortunately, I think the speed limit is 60, so 60 kilometers per hour. There is there is uh, houses around the track. Again, the, their driveway is coming off the racetrack. You can see it is bi-directional, so can't be can't be doing anything silly here. But so you can see ahead of us, there's a giant sand trap. That's where it used to continue as a dead straight line straight ahead, but now we've got a big high speed high speed kink. There's the uh, hotel that was built some time ago that makes it quite easy for people coming up for the racing. So you can see how long that straight would have been if, if they hadn't put that, um, that extra bend in it. And so this is the back to the beginning and uh, it's quite an aggressive left hand corner back onto the starting grid. So you can see here we've got the grid numbers here. Alright so that's it, that's a, that's a full lap of Mount Panorama. Here we are guys, we're at the famous Mount Panorama racetrack, Bathurst, New South Wales, Australia. So we've just uh, been driving around, taking some um, scenic photos and stuff with the car. So far the car's driving absolutely beautifully. Uh, the 8-speed is a uh, tremendous gearbox from Toyota. Uh, absolute amazing. Uh, sip speed versus uh, at speed. Yeah, so looking forward to modifying the car. The weather's been great today. All right, guys, we're going to cruise this thing back to Sydney and try and get off to a dyno. We're straight away. Let's go. All right, guys, so here we are. We've, we've done our little driving. We've come back from Bathurst and we're visiting the guys down here at Tune House in Sydney. So these guys are the national distributor of uh, EQ Tech um, tuning software, which is able to retune the factory ECU. They already do the GR Yaris and GR Corolla platforms. And we're going to look at if tuning the Lexus is an option with the 8-speed. All right, so the guys here are going to be setting up the car on the hub dyno. This particular hub dyno, you have adapters which bolt to the car 
and then you drive the adapter, or the dyno onto the adapter. I'm gonna get this set up on the dyno and uh, see how it goes. Consistent 174 kilowatts. That's your lambda, that's yeah. your boost. Okay. So what, what are we hitting uh, boost wise? 20, 26. 26. So. Pretty big boost. I mean, they're yeah. only more than the arrows. Yeah. Yeah. But you can see here, you can see the, the power yeah. and your boost. And you can see the yeah. boost is about 26 pounds. Yep. Yeah. And it comes on 4309. Up the end. All right, Jim, uh, thanks very much for this uh, tuning uh, while well, the, the dyno runs there. I really appreciate it. Um, I just wanted to um, go into more detail. Can you explain to people why have you got this room and, and what what devices and technology do you run in this room to get the you know the results you guys uh, do? Look, uh, yeah, Tuna's being perfectionist and we always try to do everything as perfect as possible. We invested on a hub dyno back in the early 2000s and you know, it's Dynapack state of the art. For back then, nobody else was running a hub dyno. Uh, what we noticed there, the environment wasn't stable enough for all the development work and tuning work that we were doing. So we recreated, back then it was a big investment to create this room into, it's a, like a mini wind tunnel for us in the tuning okay, so industry. This, uh, so you want to sort of rule out different um, conditions or variation Correct, between the days and stuff like that. And the temperature changes, nothing is consistent. For us, it's about being consistent yep. and repeatable. So we achieve this with this room. We get up to, on stage three, up to 160 kilometers per hour. We don't run a fan. We can simulate different altitudes, different barometric pressures, and we can get consistency of 0.1 of a degree, run after run after run. Yeah, uh, one of the things I uh, stand out, I think that I actually, because I've been to many dinos around Sydney, um, is the the volume of air that's actually travelling past every part of the vehicle? That's and that's the and that's the recipe to success. I mean, we cool down everything, all the running gear, the transmission, the diffs, uh, because when you run a little fan at the front, you can probably by the time you hit the radiator, it's five kilometres an hour. Here we get a volume of 30, 33,000 litres per second. Yeah, well. And uh, that's why you cool down everything. You can keep everything the same temperature, and that way you can get consistent results. Yeah, awesome. Um, can we just have a quick look at the, um, the 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 lines on the screen here and go into a bit more details? Very, very impressive. I think uh, will be very fun. I mean, it will be fun to drive. We can see uh, we're getting uh, uh, the torque, the power. Uh, we achieved about 170, 172 kilowatts. The torque it's nice and flat. And we can see the boost, that's the, 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 the moron color. Uh, oh, it hits about 4,300, it hits at uh, 26 pounds. Yep. And so we're hitting a peak, a peak boost level of? 4,300. At 4,300, yep. We're hitting 26 pounds. And at that point we're making 164 kilowatts yep. and 365 neural meters of torque. So from what I can see with the, you know, we, we've been developing our Yara stuff for almost five years now, and... Awesome product, actually. The, 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 this is a Gen 3 um, engine, so so would you say this is actually the highest horsepower that yep. you guys have seen? Uh, the this one and the Corolla are very similar. They're yep. making the same uh, power, about 170, yep. 165, 170 standard. Yep. Uh, the Yaris, they used to come about 155 kilowatts yep. standard. Yep, okay. All right, guys, so there you've seen it. First Maurizio RR LBX on the dyno, I think, in the world so far. So uh, we're looking forward to working with Tune House and the guys at EQ Tech in the UK to create a to great, soft, great software package and uh, get the most out of this uh, 
new little car from Lexus. That's sweet. guys so that's a wrap for the Maurizio RR LBX we've done four runs we were playing around with manually shifting in one of them and just testing things out we did a 13.8 at 100 mile an hour we did a 13.8 at 100 mile an hour we did a 14.9 at 96 and a 14.0 at 99.78 all right, so it's very consistent as long as you're not playing with it and making mistakes like one of the runs were. 60 foot wise, uh, we did a 2.1, 2.09, 2.11, and a 2.27 on the last one. So very consistent around that 13.8 second quarter mile time. Uh, it looks like some tuning might help us get a bit more of a consistent 60 foot. I think a 2.0 would be uh, quite plausible. So really happy to be uh, developing this platform now. As you've seen, we've got the stock passes down. We've had it on the dyno. We've got some draggy, uh, draggy data to insert and show you those passes as well. Time to start uh, tuning, developing the bolt-on products for this car and uh, seeing if we can try and get this into the 12s. I reckon a 12 second little mini SUV would be a lovely, a lovely daily driver. All right guys, thanks for tuning in and uh, here it is, the Maurizio RR LBX.